Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Ark Survival Evolved Let's Play. And in this episode, I've thought a little bit between... Well, first off, I guess, sorry I missed one yesterday. And I have a reason for that. I'll show you right now. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh neutral. No. No, 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 no. Oh, got my thing, bro. Pants. Give me pants. No, give me pants. But, that's not good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So yeah, after that happened, I kind of just went back to base and didn't play the game for the rest of the day because I didn't want to have a close call like that again. But in between then, I f just like thought a little bit about what I want to do and because I'm thinking, because like I want to still fight the Alpha Wyvern Queen. And um, so like, I, but I want to get a good saddle and or like otherwise I don't really know what to uh, make or I want to uh, tame Reaper Queen. Or Reaper King from a Reaper Queen. But I'm not really having good luck getting either of those. And I don't really want to just keep having videos that are the same thing over and over and over and over again. Until I uh, get one. So I'm thinking what I might do is just start, I mean, start like another map. Because like we still have Ragnarok in the center to go to. So I think maybe let's like start Ragnarok today. Uh, I'll need to go around to other maps, get like the Thylacolio, or like Simba from, I don't know what map he's on. And just get, get other stuff together. But I think that should be kind of fun. Just like look around, because Ra it's been a long time since I've even played on Ragnarok. So, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to go do right now. So, Alright, well, here we go on Ragnarok. Oh, and I forgot I don't have the map because I haven't played Ragnarok on this computer. Uh, let's see, I think the blue obelisk is somewhere up here. So, looks like Jungle 2 is the closest. I'll just spawn there. Yep, we're like right next to it. Perfect. Alright, because I wasn't sure exactly where it was. Looks like I picked right, I guess. And I forget, wait, is that a rare flower? I forgot. Can you pick those? Yes, you can. I forgot about that, too. And wood. And stone. And more stone. More stone. Oh, I probably shouldn't be doing that because I have all this skin. Add costume. And then drop just this other stuff that I don't need. There we go. Oops. Alright, well, we should have all of our stuff. I had to go hunting around for Simba, because I didn't know what map he was on. He's on Scorched Earth of all places. I thought, I thought for sure he'd be either on the island or on Genesis, but Scorched Earth was like my last guess. But, that's where he was, so. Let's also save, in case my game crashes. Alright, it didn't. Let's just save again. Perfect. Alright, well. Let's... I'll get everything. I don't even need to pick this stuff up off the ground. So I don't really know why I did. But I did. So. Alright, I didn't bring a crop pod. But that's whatever. Um, well. I guess. Let's just kind of... Let's look along Viking Bay, which is that way. And then, I um, guess we could also just kind of explore a little bit more of the map. Alright, well, this is Viking Bay. This whole little area. The gigantic skeleton. Honestly, I think... Wait one sec. Okay, you're not very good. I want your metal. There we go. Um, I think this is the same skeleton texture that's down by the rock tree. Or, like, skeleton model. That's down by the Rock Drake Trench in um, on Aberration. It's just brown here instead of black, like on Aberration. I don't know. I think it's the same, but I'm not certain. 
but there's also that which actually th okay this spot right over here I have had a house there actually the only time I played on Ragnarok I had a house over here and I have a funny story from before I actually built it up here but it's pretty good you have I mean a little tide pool but you have to walk through that or you can build a bridge but then you have a little ramp right up you can go on either side of this and there's rocks in the way over there that you have to break but this right here is really flat on both sides and if you can get pillars all the way down it's kind of deep but it's not super difficult you can actually build like a sus like partially suspended house with like kind of neat dino storage on both sides or something like that i don't know i like doing that I mean, I've done that before. I don't know if I'll do it again, but and you can kind of see the murder snow up there. Fun. Guess we could. If I go over to the other, s actually, I don't even remember where the highlands are. I think they're that way. I think they're that way. Like, but yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I just know that's where you find gigas on here. I was gonna say go find, go look over there. But um, anyways, my funny story about here is I had a shack before I built up there. I had just like a little wooden like pen down here for my dinos and like a stone shack and the wooden pen part is important because up there megalosauruses can spawn uh just like curled up on the ground kind of like you can see them in caves on the island and occasionally want to wander down here during the night and i was afk hatching some allosaurus eggs or at least i'm pretty sure it was aloe eggs i know it definitely wasn't rex's but um yeah, I had all my stuff just kind of, it, it was just fencing, it didn't have big walls, and it was just wooden fences. And it was all impassive, and I was inside the house just waiting for eggs to hatch. And I come back in the morning, everything outside is dead, because they were all impassive, and there's a little megalosaurus curled up in the ground. Right in the middle of where all my dinos used to be. So that's one thing, is if you build down here, I recommend protecting your dinos if you can just because that can happen i don't know how common that is but i just specifically remember that from this area every time i come through this area it just reminds me of that but honestly let's i kind of want to just look through up there i don't really want to venture into the murder snow because it's the murder snow it should kind of explain for itself but you know, I, I mean, I don't know, I just want to run along up here. Oh! I don't know if I can kill that on the Thylacolia. What level is it? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> uh, maybe if I bring the Giga over here, I could do that. But I don't really want to try fighting a 135 Alpha Rex on, the, on, the, on Simba. That would... Uh, Turn me into pulp within a matter of seconds. All right. Well, I see that's a nice welcome. And I do think I have found the highlands. So I'm gonna see if I can find anything else kind of fun. I'm looking. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking for a Giga just because I want to see one, even though we're not really in the right spot. I know they spawn in the highlands, and I know what it looks like. I just don't exactly remember how to get there. <laughs> Oh, I see them. They're on the other side of the volcanic area. Oh, and a saber tooth. Three saber teeth. Huh. But yeah, I see them. Way off in the distance. I could travel through the volcanic area. I just would have to avoid the wyvern trench. Wyvern scar trench thing, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we could do that. But it's that. Over there. All right. Yep, this is more like what I was thinking of when I was talking about the highlands. Just kind of sprawling green hills, pretty much. Really, no gigas? Aww. Sad. I don't know. I might find one, but that's usually down there is where I see them up here. So. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, nope, there's one right there. I, I spoke too soon. It's 15. Well, <laughs> I spoke way too soon. Alright, well, there is one up here. Okay. Alright, well, this is the desert area. Kind of down the uh, southwest corner. Yeah, southwest. Or southeast corner. Doi. Okay, it's just wide open. Looks actually a lot like the. Uh, it's interesting. So the parts around it look like the mountains on Scorched Earth, and the part in the middle looks like the uh, the high desert in uh, on Scorched Earth. I don't know. I'm just kind of doing a uh, a lap around the island, or not? It's not the island. Uh, I might cut through the middle. I don't know. But as of right now, like I don't know if I'll just go around the desert. I might kind of cut across. Honestly, if I wanted to build a base kind of in these ruins, that'd be kind of neat. Because I knew there were ruins in the desert, but I forgot they were this extensive. Like, that island down there looks pretty darn flat. Oops, I have that open still. Looks pretty darn flat, and, um... I don't know, it's, uh... Kind of enticing, although I don't really want to live in the desert. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Whoa! No, 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 no. I thought the wyvern scar was up there. I passed the wyvern scar when I went to the highlands. Why are there two poison, three, four wyverns over there? Two fire, two poison. What? Excuse me. Unless they just like spawn there. Oh, and UD. Fun. Uh, well, that scared me. Not gonna joke about that. <laughs> uh, can I just scoot past you guys without you really noticing I'm here? Please. Alright, I think I'm fine. Why are there so many? I almost ran face first into even more. Oh my gosh. They're just like everywhere over here. Because I thought the. Could have sworn. Oops, I had it open already. I could have sworn the Wyvern Scar was like up here. Like right there. But I guess I was wrong. I mean, I, I think it is up there. Because I remember passing it. And that's where I've gone in the past. I just do not remember Wyvern spawning down here. Like this. You know, actually, now that I think about it. Aside for whoa, there's a griffin there. I didn't <laughs> realize that. Um, but uh, aside from that little like short PVE thing I did with one of my friends a while back, when like the Ragnarok DLC was not new, new, but like relatively new, um, where I was like discussing my base and stuff like that. My primary knowledge of Ragnarok is um, PVP oriented, actually. Because it's been a long time since I played Ragnarok, for one. It's been a long time since I played PvP as well. But the only time I ever played PvE it was on Ragnarok. And that took up more of my time on Ragnarok than um, PvE itself. So, uh, I don't know. I think that's kind of interesting. I, like, I have no idea where uh, any of the artifacts are on here. Unlike other maps, because it just wasn't a focus. I know, like, where my PvP base was. It was over back. Kind of down that way. On that little islands. Actually, the part of the map that I didn't go to because of all the little tiny islands down there, it was down on those islands. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I don't know. It's still just, it's been a long while since I've played on here, though, so... I don't know. It's I'm not gonna be as clueless about this map as I was about Crystal Isles because I had never touched Crystal Isles once before. Same with Valgaro. Uh, the center I've done tiny. See, essentially my knowledge on regular like the uh, free DLC maps don't have that much knowledge on them because I, I played them a tiny bit, but not much. It's mostly just the uh, story maps. So that's primarily what I played since they're not PvP. Well, 
I mean, the island and scorched earth aren't really PVE oriented. There's a theory over there. But, um, aberration isn't either, but it's more of a middle ground, and then extinction and genesis seem to be more PVE oriented now. So, I don't know. I'll, I'm just kind of rambling. I'm almost back to the blue obelisk, and I've made a full circle, pretty much. So, not as I for I honestly forgot how just how much of this map is desert. <laughs> like a solid quarter of it is desert. So I don't know, and it's just flat. I mean, there's a little bit of mountains and hills and stuff, but man. And I honestly was surprised about finding the uh, wyverns just kind of out in the open. What's this? Uh, you know what? You're still following me. I'm putting you on neutral though. What is this? Uh, hello? Oh, it's the artifact of the strong. Wait. How do I get there? <laughs> it's like right over there. That's like the hardest one to get on the island. Not really. It's the hardest land one to get, but like, I don't know. And it's just like right there. Well, that's interesting. Is this a cave? No, that's just a really dark spot. I don't know how to get that. Uh, unless there's like a cave around here somewhere. There probably is, and I just don't know where it is. But don't really need to focus on that right now. I'm just kind of enjoying the views, sightseeing, taking in. How pretty of a map this was. What even happened to you? Oh, that's probably what happened. Because those are fighting Demorphodons. And it probably just got flung way over here. That makes more sense. Also, I wonder if I can come across a Megalosaurus up here. Because sometimes you can. You're just kind of taking a nap. Or at night if they're just like standing with their eyes glowing. Kind of like how they are in the blue zone on Aberration. Or if you've ever been unlucky enough to go into one of the caves on the island at night and there be a Megalosaurus in there. That's not a fun experience. So I try to not go into... I mean, some caves they don't spawn in, but quite a few they do. That's why I try... Some caves they're just I just try not to go in at night. Others it doesn't really matter. But, uh, we're actually, the, there's the little, like, rock thing that you can put a base inside of. This is actually over here. Uh, if you just, I think it's if you take the top spawn spot. So, like, jungle one, you'll spawn, like, right around here, I'm pretty sure. And this is actually not that bad of a spot for a little starter base. Because it, it's a relatively neat area. You have access to the water easily. And a behemoth gate will pretty much fill up that spot. You can just wall this one off. And like this one off. But you, like you can put a behemoth gate over there and right here or something. And have a little fully enclosed area for your dinos and your stuff. I don't know. I just remember this being a pretty good starter spot. But anyways, I'm actually not sure how long this episode is. Probably not very long. Sorry about missing one yesterday though because... I just wanted a break after that. I, did, I didn't want to risk losing everything after how close that was when I got knocked off the Rock Drake. But, uh, yeah, I, I think we'll work on Ragnarok for a little bit. Then go back, reevaluate Alpha Wyvern Queen, maybe look at another boss, like Motor or something. Or maybe even one of the big Ascension bosses. I don't even know. But anyways... I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.